Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And what we have to bring you is action from the semi-final here at the 2023 World Cup. It's Spain, and they take on Sweden. Well, this could be an absolute classic, and the prize couldn't be any bigger, could it? A place in the World Cup final. Let's just hope we get two teams that want to play good football and come out and attack the opposition. This should be a good game. Here's the lineup for Spain. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations, and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. Here's the starting 11 for Sweden. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre-backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. And the contest begins... Might be able to get in behind the defence. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Aitana Bonmati. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. And the keeper had the measure of that one. Extremely sloppy in possession. Promising sequence. Preferring to go infield. They've got it now, what can they do? And no problems at all for the keeper. Well, threat over for now. Well, they won't come closer than that. So unlucky not to take the lead there. Yes, in possession again. And maybe another opportunity developing here. And fairly routine for her in the end. Well, doesn't have to do it on her own. Well, disappointing end to the move. Redondo. And they need to get tighter here. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, pressing really high. And with that, the attack fizzles out. 
Aitana Bonmati. And Sweden couldn't keep the ball. And what an opportunity this is for her. Surely squanders the chance for 1-0. Well, that's a big miss. They should be leading now. Now they've lost it. Now options are plenty. Oh, that's a really good run. Oh, and a wonderful stop. But now it grinds to a halt because the flag has been raised. Tere Abeyera. Well, she's gliding through. But timely defending when it mattered. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. Giving it a try. Easy meet for the goalkeeper. Running with the ball confidently, but quick thinking defensively. Jonna Anderson. Now, who can she play it to? An alert piece of defending. Moving into the advanced position. In with a chance. And a goal! The opener in the semi-final. First goal of the contest. Back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Moving the ball forward with purpose. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. This looks promising. Tere Abeyera. Aitana Bonmati. Strong but fair tackle. Tere Abeyera. There will be one minute added on at the end. Botellas. And in with a real chance. Can she score? And the keeper there to deal with it. Keen to take it short here. Could be! 
And so it is, the first half story has been written. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Well, foul play, says the referee. A short free kick this time. Oh, keeper dealt with it. Favouring the short one. And the cross into the middle. And she's cleared it off the line. Well, she really deserves credit for that challenge. Now, counter attacking possibilities here. Bad challenge. And now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. Well, it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one. It's a yellow card all day long. Is it going to be? Blocking it. And a goal! They've extended the lead. Well, plenty of time remaining. This is far from over. But they're well on course for a place in the final. Well, as you can see, what a good bit of play this is. The build-up is excellent. One and two touch passing, clever movement and a fairly simple finish. Great team goal. Back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Stina Blackstenius. Perfect tackle. Good movement. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Well, the referee left with no alternative. Compelled to stop play. Got a drop ball after the injury situation. Well, there it is, as expected. Spain have controlled most of the ball so far. They've passed it well, their movement's been good, and they've been well worth their lead. Could get even better here. Now can they win back possession and carve out another chance for themselves? Well, the fans want her to take on the shot, but it's great when you can rely on your keeper. Amanda Illestet. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. Under a fair bit of pressure. Could pull one back here. Couldn't grab hold of it. And in at the second time of asking. Just what was required.
Well, as you can see, the first save is a good one, but they can't react quickly enough to the second ball. The keeper's a bit unlucky, really. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? And a timely intervention. And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy, and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. Giving it away. And outfoxing her opponent. Or maybe I wrote her off too quickly. Good defending in the end. Twenty minutes remaining. A real opening now. Well, here it is again, and I have to say, the defending is so poor. They make so many bad decisions there. No wonder the keeper's exposed. Well, you've really got to give credit to the entire team, because this was a bit like climbing Mount Everest. Not attempted. Oh, and it goes! The opening goal in the semi-final. A long way from being decided, but it could be telling. Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction, and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Now well, we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. Kosovari Aslani. Happy to take on the shot. Spain recovering possession well. Jenny. This might be ideal for the counter. Oh, it might happen for her here. Oh, what on earth happened there? One on one with the goalkeeper. The goal at her mercy. But she spurned the chance. She's gliding through. Real chance. Well, what a good stop to keep them in this. Well, that would have been game over. Not long left now, though. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Over it comes. A very effective clearance. Now sliding in field. Real chance. Oh, a great chance it was. Goalkeeper has it. 
Five minutes remaining, and one thing is certain, no one is leaving because it's still close. Now putting it wide from there, disappointing. They get forward, but time is very much against them here. And a goal to get them level! And who will be in the final now? It's anyone's guess. Well, as you can see, the defending is all over the place. That's far too easy for the attackers. The goalkeeper's got absolutely no chance there. So the ball rotting again at three all. And the referee has deemed that an additional four minutes are in order. Portig. And taking it away. Natalie Bjorn. Benison. Well, they're certainly thinking about a winner. They cannot be separated here, and it's on to extra time. So away they go again, the first period of extra time, and it's legitimate to ask to what extent mental strength will come into this. Looking forward to it. Good work from Sweden to win back possession. On attacking possibilities. And let's give credit to the defending. Well, the possession tells you everything. Nothing really to split between the two sides. It's been an enthralling encounter up to now, with both teams playing some really good expansive football. You just wonder if the coach would be looking at that and how they can tighten up at the back. As it's oh, it's developing nicely for them here. How on earth did she make that save? Well, she made that save because she is one of the top goalkeepers. That is a brilliant stop from her. And taken short. And a fine cross. Well, pretty straightforward for the keeper, you've got to say. Bon Mati. And a good tackle. Now, who can she play it to? High quality defending. Well, the counter chance looks very real. This looks promising. Can she connect with a teammate? 
and fairly routine for her in the end and the first period of extra time comes to an end still level here And so the drama continues here. We're into the second period of extra time. Well, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. Just the challenge that was required. Ivana Andres. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. And still on the lookout for the goal that could be so important at this juncture. And they do like to press whenever they can. Denison, Johanna Ricking Canary. A very good tackle. Good looking play as she tries to get them onto the front foot. Oh, a vital interception. And it wasn't taxing for the keeper. Well, five minutes remaining in this, the second period of extra time. Has a go! Oh, there it is! And surely we've witnessed the goal that will take them through to the final. Astonishing scenes here. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Poor pass under no real pressure. There will be one minute added on at the end. Well, do they have it in them to level this? There's the whistle. Spain will be taking part in the World Cup final. Well, it was always going to be tight, but they just about had enough energy and quality in that extra time to take them through to the final. Yes, there'll be some tired legs out there, but they won't care about that. What a final we've got in store for us.